Hello friends, welcome to Club Craft Area. If you are new to this channel, subscribe my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. In this video, we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful design to do a shawl or a scarf. For this, we are using yarn and a crochet hook. To do this pattern, the foundation chain should be multiples of 13 plus 1. So now let's see how to do this pattern. To do this pattern, first we we'll start with a slip knot. Foundation chain should be multiples of 13 plus 1. So I will be doing 40 chain. Multiple of 30 means it is 39 plus 1 is 40 chains. How to do a chain? Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. This is what we say it as chain. We have to do 40 chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. After doing 40 chain, it looks like this. So this will be the width of the shawl or the scarf which we are doing. For next round, skip the first chain. Second chain, do a single crochet. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. This is what we say it is single crochet. We have to do single crochet in each stitch for four more stitches. So total you will be having five single crochet. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. Two. Three. Four. And five. Next do chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Next skip 3 chain. 1, 2, 3. The fourth chain you are going to do a single crochet. Likewise you are going to do single crochet in each stitch for 9 chains. So totally you will be having 10 single crochet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then do chain 3. 1, 2, 3. Skip 3 chain. 1, 2, 3. Next, you are going to do single crochet in each stitch for 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Do chain 3. 1, 2, 3. 3. Skip 3 stitch. 1, 2, 3. Next do single crochet in each stitch for 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So after completing this round it looks like this. Starting the round we did 5 single crochet. Same way by ending the round you have to end by doing 5 single crochet. For next round do chain 1, turn your work, extend the loop little bit. Next insert the hook in the first single crochet, yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have 2 loops. Next yarn over, pull through 1 loop. Then extend the loop little bit. You have to do this for 4 more times. That is insert the hook in the next single crochet, yarn over, pull through the loop. You will be having three loops. We have to insert the yarn in the first loop. Yarn over, pull the hook and the yarn in the first loop and pull through. So insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the loop. Next, yarn over, pull through this first loop and extend little bit. We have to do two more times. So if you see, we will be having 6 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
then remove this hook from all these loops insert the hook in this first loop here so we have to repeat the same thing in this inside this chain 3 space we have to do this for 10 times insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop and yarn over pull through this first loop and extend that yarn little bit insert the hook yarn over pull through this loop and yarn over pull through this first loop inside this chain 3 space we have to do 10 times we should not count the first loop so we have done 2 times we have to do 8 more times hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through first loop 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Next, remove the hook from all the loops. Insert it in this first hook. We have to do same way till you reach this chain 3 space. So insert the hook in the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through the loop. Yarn over, pull through the first loop and extend it little bit. Insert the hook in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the first loop and extend it little bit. So likewise you have to do till you reach this chain 3 space. Totally you will be having 10 loops. So after doing them it looks like this. Next remove the hook from all the loops. Insert the hook in this first loop. So now we are in this chain 3 space. So how we did 10 loops in this chain 3 space. Same way we have to do here. Insert the hook in the loop. Yarn over pull through the loop. Yarn over pull through this first loop. And extend the yarn little bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Next, remove the hook from all the loops. Insert the hook in this first loop. Same way, we have to do this till you reach the last stitch. That is, we'll be doing this for 10 times here. We, then, in this chain 3 space, we'll be doing for 10 times how we did here. Next, in this 5 single crochet. After completing the round, it looks like this. For next round, we'll turn the work. Pick up first 5 loops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Take the working out this side. Yarn over, pull through all the 5 loops. Do chain 1. Next, pick the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. You have to do this for five times. One, pick the next loop. Yarn over, pull through that loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. Two, next loop. Yarn over, pull through that loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. Three, Insert the hook in the next loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. 4. Pick the next loop. Yarn over, pull through that loop. You will have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. 5. Then do chain 3. 1, 2, 3. So we have to do the same thing 5 more times what we did here. Insert the hook in the first loop. Yarn over, pull through the loop. You will have two loops. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. So we have to do for four more times. Two, three, four, five. So after doing them, it looks like this. Next, you have to pick ten loops. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Yarn over, pull through all the loops. So leaving this last loop. So you have to pull through all these loops. So now you will be left with 2 loops. 
yarn over pull through both the loops next we have to do this for five times insert the hook in first loop yarn over pull through the loop you'll have two loops yarn over pull through both the loops one two three four five then do chain three one two three again do for five times one two three four so it looks like this next we have to pick 10 loops 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yarn over pull through all the loops leaving one loop at the last so now we'll have two loops on the hook yarn over pull through both the loops so next you have to do same thing what we did here we are going to do five times one two three four five then chain three one two three then do for five times one two three four five so now we are left with last six loops so take all the six loops one two three four five six yarn over pull through all the loops leaving this loop so totally we'll be having two loops yarn over pull through both the loops so after completing this round it looks like this for next round do chain one turn your work extend the yarn little bit same way how we did previously so insert the hook in the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the first loop and extend it little bit we have to do this for four more times totally you should have six loops now we have six loops next remove the hook from the loops insert it in this first loop next in this chain 3 space we have to do 10 times so after doing 10 times remove the hook from the loops insert it in this first loop do this for first 5 times one two three four five we have to skip the stitch which we joined all these ten together there in the previous round so insert it in the next stitch do the same thing for five more times two three four and five remove the hook from all these loops insert the hook and in this chain three space we'll be doing for ten times same way do for five times and skip the stitch which we joined all these ten together in the previous round and do again for five times then in this chain three space we'll be doing for ten times and then we have to do the do this for five times so we'll finish them till this so this is the part which we joined all the five stitches together so we will not work here so at last we'll finish with five loops remove the hook so after completing this round it looks like this for next round turn your work take five loops one two three four five yarn over pull through all the five loops and do chain one so we have to repeat the same thing take first loop yarn over pull through you'll have two loops yarn over pull through both the loops do for five times two three four and five then do chain three one two three 
next do it for five times one, one two three four five next pick up 10 loops one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Yarn over, pull through all the 10 loops, leaving this last loop. We'll have two loops. Yarn over, pull through both the loops. So we have to follow this pattern till the last. So again, we'll be doing this for five times. One, two, three, four, five. Two chain three, one, two, three. So we have to repeat this process till you reach this yet after completing the row it looks like this so this pattern is just a repeat of two rows first will be the loop row and next will be the next row which we take the loop and do the single crochet you can continue this pattern till the required length of the shawl or the scarf you want so the pattern looks like this if you like this video like share Command this video and also subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe and bell button to get more videos. Thank you friends.